The comparisons between Michael Baumgarten's The Martial Arts Kid and John G. Avelson's The Karate Kid are pretty much inevitable and unavoidable. I mean, when you sit back and take a look at both films, they pretty much share the same uh, story beats almost. And um, when you see the film, it's clearly not a, a flat-out remake or, or, uh, or homage in ways to, to The Karate Kid. Uh, basically, both films are about a, a teenager who uh, is supplanted and finds himself in a new town, uh, ends up getting bullied, uh, ultimately seeks the tutelage of a martial arts master to help him defend himself, falls in love with a girl, and then must fight his way to defend his honor and his girl's honor as well. Um, that comparison between the Karate Kid and the Martial Arts Kid is about as far as you can go with it, because uh, they are fairly similar but two distinctly different films, especially the way they're presented. It's, uh, I don't believe Baumgarten is, was making any, any veil attempts to hide the fact that it's similar to The Karate Kid, but he, he basically uh, populated his film with some significant names in the, in the martial arts uh, genre. In particular, his Miyagi types are uh, Cynthia Rothrock and Don the Dragon Wilson. Uh, in the film, um, young Robbie, played by Jansen Penetier, is a uh, juvenile delinquent. Uh, gets into trouble in Ohio, and then finds himself forced to live with his aunt in Florida, uh, wherein he uh, immediately gets into trouble with the local bully, uh, finds himself liking his girlfriend, the bully's girlfriend, and uh, and the story goes from there. And we basically follow his, uh, we follow Robbie's story as he gets beat upon, and then he wants to learn how to defend himself, and he goes under the tutelage of his uh, aunt and uncle, uh, played by Wilson and Rothrock, and he learns the uh, the discipline of martial arts. And you obviously will get the general idea of just where this film is supposed to go. I mean, it's like if you've seen The Karate Kid, then you're kind of familiar with how it is here. But like I've often said in previous reviews for other films that have similar themes or storylines or, or arcs, basically it's, it's okay to make a film like that as long as you present it to the audience in a way that is new or at least not like feeling like a retread. Um, the performances were, 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 uh, were serviceable and uh, engaging and uh, charismatic. Everybody involved in the film performance-wise were actually quite good. You actually really get involved into, into uh, Robbie's plight and, and he's, uh, and uh, Panettiere is uh, quite, quite likable in the part and is a, uh, Girlfriend Rena, played by Catherine Newton, is uh, quite nice, and uh, Bo, the villain in the piece, played by Matthew Ziff, is uh, quite effective, although stereotypical for, for a bully. But of course, the uh, the two real stars of this are Don the Dragon Wilson and Cynthia Rothrock, who uh, are great to see them back on on screen in action. So, uh, the obviously the obvious comparisons are it's the Karate Kid, so. But it only goes that route for so far, and I was totally fine with where this film was going. And I knew it was obviously building up to the big fight between the bully Bo and our hero Robbie. But I know I tend to not try to give out spoilers for films, but in this one it just seems kind of unavoidable. Because I was perfectly fine with this film being just a, basically, um, a... Uh, entertaining, um, mildly diverting, uh, uh, family family film uh, about martial arts and uh, and bullying. The message is obvious; that it's very anti-bullying, and um, I can totally get behind something like that. But um, but obviously, our hero standing up to his bully and, and proving that that the bully is the true weakling. But a martial arts kid as it's building up to what we're expecting is the, the confrontation between the two of these, these two characters devolves into something completely unexpected. Uh, it basically, the, the final act, instead of being a, a fight between these two characters, becomes a total dojo war. The two dojos end up going to end up fighting. I think it's basically Miyagi's dojo versus the Cobra Kai. 
all of a sudden the two of them come together and clash. And it just seems so out of left field and undermines what the, the film was about. It was about anti-bullying and then it devolves into this big fight at the end between all, all these characters. Now, I mean, I totally love the fact that we get to see Cynthia Rothrock and Don the Dragon Wilson in action, but it this whole ending just seemed out of place in this movie, and I feel it sends mixed messages about what it was, the, about the ultimate message of anti-bullying was. Stand your ground, prove who you are, show that you're, you're stronger than the bully, but instead it just ends up just being one big fight that, that serves no purpose, really, except almost like just wanted to be fan service just to keep the fans entertained, and who just are there just to see John the Dragon Wilson and... Uh, and uh, Cynthia Rothrock in action. But it just makes me think of something like Sidekicks with uh, with uh, the late Jonathan Brandis and Chuck Norris. And th that was a fantastic movie about anti-bullying and, and a kid coming into his own to, to face off against the bullies yeah, with his imagination of Chuck Norris. But um, Martial Arts Kid does not achieve that because this third, this final act, the last 20 minutes or so of the film just... It's totally out of place in this movie as a whole. And uh, to make matters worse, the ending is just so heavy-handed setting up a sequel that was it just seemed bizarre, to say the least. So, overall, I would say The Martial Arts Kid is, yes, better than The Karate Kid Part 3 and The Next Karate Kid, but that, that's not saying much. But uh, I would... I could only, I would have to give the martial arts kid just barely a two and a half stars. Uh, just barely two and a half stars. It's because um, there's a lot that I, I kind of enjoyed about it, but it's just the ending just really turned me off to it. So, the martial arts kid, two and a half stars. Uh, for fans of the martial arts genre, you might get a kick out of it, but as a family film, it's a little questionable as the message got a little mixed up in there, I think. So, if you like this review, hit that like button below. If you Have you heard of the martial arts kid, or are you a fan of Rothrock or Wilson, or any other martial arts for that matter? Please comment below and let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do, so you can stay on top of my reviews as they come in. Until next time, we'll see you at the movies.